Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another video for you guys here today. Today we're going to be checking out Lantern. Lantern is, uh, is different. Um, so you bring a powerful message of everlasting love to four Asia-inspired worlds. Uh, you create wonderful lantern festivals by spreading warmth and joy, and you get restful music and peaceful sounds. Uh, it's it's very different from a lot of the games that I've covered on my channel. It's by a developer called Storm in a Cup. Uh, these guys were nice enough to send me over a code to check out the game. Um, there is VR support for this game, but it is not necessary, so I will be playing it without the VR today. Um, and from everything that I can tell, the VR is more of a just a look around type of deal. You still have to control it with controller and everything like that. So, we'll kind of check out uh, the gameplay here. Nice little opening song and everything. It's it's very um, very much a a peaceful experience with this game. There's no real text. There's no uh, real monologue or anything. It's all in the sound. In the visuals. The visuals are pretty good too. So we'll, we'll get into that here in a minute. You can see the color leaving the land. She was very sad. And then that is what our job is. And that's who we are going to play. We are going to play the little lantern that you just seen let loose from that man's grasp. Uh, so, yeah, we will get into this soon. There we go. So, yeah, I'm using an Xbox controller. And you just kind of go around and you'll see as we get closer to the ground, we have this kind of area of effect that we have. We're going to restore color to the world. So... You can see that a lot of the world over here is black and white. So as we come in closer to these buildings, you can see that we give those color. And we have this totem kind of there in the middle. And you can see the, the more and more that we light up and the more and more that we give color to the world, uh, that totem is going to become colorized as well. You can see that it is quite full. And so we're just going to go through, fly over the rest of these houses here. And then we have a couple of abilities, too, that I'll show you guys here in a second. But that is our our path that we took on our journey. And the town is nice and colored up. And the doors are opening to us to the rest of this valley. In the rest of what we're gonna do for these people. So, uh, like I said, we got two abilities. One is that burst ability that you saw there, and I'll have to wait on the next one. But that burst ability just kind of extends your range. It's, I would almost call it like a color bomb or something like that. Um, and so we can pick the paths. I'm gonna go to the right here. And we can go along these paths and we're lighting up these little lanterns. And I could be mistaken, but I think these lanterns are what give us the opportunity to do our abilities. Yeah, there we go. And then our other ability is just like a quick boost, uh, which I don't think I'm going to use right away. I think I'm going to wait until we get into the town over here. And I think I'm going to use my color boost and try and get as much of this town in one fell swoop as I can. So let's go ahead. We're going to head into the town here and then use my burst. There you go. Not bad. That was a good chunk of the town. Um, or the village, if you will. But it's a very... It's just... It flows. And it's just calming and relaxing to, to, to play a game like this. There's not many of these... I almost want to call it like a visual... I, I don't I don't really know what to call it. I want to call it like a coloring book. Almost like a... Like a 
interactive coloring book, but you're not actually like coloring each individual spot. You're basically, you know, just flying over the land and that is your coloring. So there we go. We've done this entire area or at least enough to fill the, the totem. And you can get a pretty good look at our area. We missed a building. And there we are. And it's just, it's very pretty and very, I don't know. It's just something about the, the kind of art style that this is. I really, really enjoy it. Um, let's see. I don't know. It's, it's coming out on Steam today, uh, the 15th of November. But I, since I'm playing it before it actually releases, I'm not entirely sure what the price point's going to be. I can't imagine that it would be all that high. But it's just, it's just one of those relaxing games. It's nice and easy to just, and you can get like real crazy with this. There's, there's quite a few achievements with this game. And so I would see, you know, some people just playing this game if you're an achievement hunter. And you just want to play something to get some more achievements. Um, that's kind of what I looked at it as. And But I, I loaded this up before, uh, before doing the video on it. Because, you know, I always check games and see if they're worth videos. And I played probably for close to an hour... Um, just kind of flying around and filling in the area and finding all this cool stuff. And, you know, we're going to go back over this way only so we can finish out the road here. But like this, like, check this out. We gave that color and now it's moving. Now it's actually interacting with the rest of the world. It's just, it's very calming and very beautiful. And just to... I don't know. It, in, it's kind of cool too. Like the lower you go, feels like the faster you go, and you can really get in there and and do quite a lot. Here's another town over here. So I'm gonna go through this one. Okay. And now I'm back down. And if you run into something, you kind of just bounce off of it. It's not really that big of a deal. All right, so I'm going to come into the town here. And use my nice color explosion. So yeah, if I bounce into that tree, that's all that really happens. There's nothing too crazy. And like I said, there's no... It's, it's very much a, a passive game, but it is a nice passive game. Ooh, here's a wisdom rock. There we go. Now we have the path of the wisdom. Um, I found that out somehow. I don't remember how I found that out. That that was like a thing. But I'm sure we'll figure it out here again. Alright, so we'll get some more of these buildings. And see if we can't finish up this area. Oh, 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 oh. We're getting close to finishing up this area. There we go. This area is nice. It's kind of in the mountains. It's very soothing, very calm. <laughs> I think America might need this right now. <laughs> the world might need this right now. A, a very calming, soothing game <clears throat> to recenter our minds. All right, so let's get out of here. I'm going to go back up this way because there is another section of the road. And we can color more than just the road. We can always come in here to the trees. We can color these areas. All these little buildings through here can kind of quote unquote activate them, allow them to move freely throughout the world. 
And I wonder, I'm curious if there is an achievement for coloring all of a particular area. I think that would be really neat to do and really probably time consuming, but uh, still very, very neat. Let me just continue along the road here, getting these lanterns. <clears throat> And then we come into another town and then there's like a little split off this way. So I'm going to go this way first. Oh, oh, oh. Just come right down here. Nice little wall. That's cool. And I don't know that there's really much over here. The only thing that I do 100% know of over here is another one of these stones. And I think you can only activate those by, yeah, doing it yourself. Your bomb doesn't actually count. It looks like we hit that building nicely. Cool. Little farm. All right, so that was our boost. And so I'm going to head back over this way. I've got another one of those totems over here. So just gently flying around. Almost to the point, I think we can do another one of those bombs. Okay. Might turn back around and try and get a good chunk of the, the city life over here. Yeah, good portion of this area. Color Explosion is the achievement I just got. It's a Color Explosion. I like that. That's a good choice of words. I'm kind of, you know, in this game, I don't, I don't really know much about the developers. Um, this is the first time I think I've ever played anything by them. But it kind of makes me want to... Um, look and see what else you know they kind of have to offer because i don't know it's just it's very calming and soothing and here's a another stone here okay let's do another color explosion oh there we go very nice And then I think after this, the castle wall or whatever, if, if that might be a castle that might just be a wall or something. It should open up. It should be able to show us something pretty cool. Oh, look at the color. Expanding the region. Did that, after that, did that light up or colorize the whole region? Or just, no, just kind of near where that was. All right. So we'll get over here to this. We'll check it out. All right, yeah, here we go. It did light up or did color this whole area, but we'll go through here and that will be the end of summer. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this game. If you want to see more of this area of the summer, winter and fall, um, summer, winter, fall and spring, I should say. And I'll do more of the videos on it. Just let me know. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. You want to check this game out for yourself? You can do so by heading over to Steam. Links in the description. And that's it for me, guys. Have a good one.